everyone, so today's video is an October favorites video and it is Halloween season right now, or it was, I don't know when this video is going to go up, so I have decided to embrace the month of October on my face, so yeah, don't be scared people. Anyway, I have all these items here in my little bag back and I'm just gonna go ahead inside and show you guys what I have this month. So the first thing that I have it is the Naked 2 palette. I recently purchased this palette about a month ago I would say and I've been loving it. Usually I used to stay away from this palette and never really bought it because it had a lot of shimmery products but now that I've been using it so much I honestly do love it. I think it's perfect for fall. It has some great you know gunmetal colors, purples, black, great palette. I love it and I can't wait to use it even more. But I have been doing some tutorials with it so I hope y'all enjoyed that. Okay, so the next product, since I started with eyes, I'm going to go ahead and do more of it, is one of um, recent eyeshadow that I bought from MAC and this is from their Press Pigment section. And this is the color Black Grape. It is amazing. It is gorgeous. Also, I used it in one of my tutorials. And once you wet this baby, whew, it is beautiful. Like You guys need to go out and buy this one because it's great. So, yeah. And the next product that I have are some mascaras. And um, first of all, this Fantasy makers by wet and wild it is basically a purple mascara and i've really really been loving using it on my lower lash lines i think it's something fun something extra to your look so i don't know it's fun i also have the green one but this one is my favorite so yeah thought i should share that with you guys another mascara is the pumped up mascara i love i'm an addict aside from concealers i'm addicted to mascara and I have a backups upon backups upon backups. So honestly, if I ever need a mascara, I'll just shop on my drawer. Because that's how many mascaras I have. And this one kind of got lost. And I had totally forgotten about it. And then I was doing my makeup about 2-3 weeks ago. And I used it. And I really have to say, this is the best mascara that I have on my drawer at the moment. It is better than the Colossal. Yeah, I said it, um, than the original Colossal because it's another version of the Colossal. But it is better the original one, and yes, I did say it, and that mascara has been my favorite for years and years since I was in high school. And I have said it, this one is better. Um, yeah, oh, that feels bad saying I'm like betraying my other mascara, but no, this one is amazing. So, yeah. And the next product that I have go hand in hand and it is the Visible Lift Blur Foundation and the concealer. I mentioned this one in my latest favorites video last month and I have to say this has surprised me so much. I've been loving it like no other foundation. It's just amazing. So easy to apply, it blends, it like melts to my skin, it is amazing. This concealer has me speechless, people. It is amazing. I feel like I'm using a high-end concealer when I'm using this thing. Beautiful, makes me look flawless. My skin looks flawless when I use this thing. Great um, props to L'Oreal because it was amazing. Alright, All right. so next up is also a face product and it is my Too Faced Cocoa Powder Foundation. Now, let's just talk about the smell. It's just amazing, people. I can like sit here and smell this all day long. It's amazing. Um, I love everything about it. I love the packaging. I love having it in my purse. And sometimes I even touch up with it. I know foundation on foundation. But I still do it. Um, I use it. I like using it on, on its own. I like to use it on top of my um, 
True Blur Lift foundation, just a tiny bit on it. Um, honestly, it has so many uses. Um, and it gives me enough coverage to be able to use it on its own. So I really do recommend it. I think the price is fabulous for such a great product. And I've never had a powder or powder foundation that I love so much. As much as I love this. Because this is just crazy. I love it. Um, so yeah. Totally been a favorite. Having used in it so much. And look. It doesn't even look like I've done a lot to it. That is amazing. Okay. Next up is also a phase product. And yes. I caved in. And I bought the beauty blender. And I know I used to be like an anti-beauty blender. I was like, no, I am not buying a $20 sponge that is going to go in the garbage can, blah, 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 blah. I was so wrong. People, this thing is amazing. Um, I've tried, I have tried so many, um, dupes or wannabes for the beauty blender. Nothing compares to this. This is amazing. I am so sorry that I doubted you all these months or years, however, much it's been. I'm sorry I've doubted you because it's it's amazing. It's beautiful so nicely. I would recommend it to you said wet. That is the, the purpose of it and it makes your foundation. I think this is why I've been loving my blur lift or what's it called? I never know what this is called. My visible lift foundation so much because this is just an amazing product and I will buy the little tiny ones. I'm gonna buy those for sure. Next up it is this brow drum this Maybelline a brow drama um for your brows. So obvious but yeah I'm I don't want to go a lot into it because I am gonna do a video on it but it's a good product. I like it. I really like it. It's in my favorites video, but I will say I don't use it how you're supposed to use it. So that's the only thing I'm going to say, but I'll have a video on this soon for you guys, or maybe it's already even up. Who knows? So anyways, next up is going to be lip products. The first one that I have it is this Revlon Color Stay Ultimate Liquid Lipstick. I've had this for a very long time. But back in the day, I really didn't like a bold lips like I do now. So I would use it here and there kind of randomly. But I recently busted it out and I love it. This thing is so pigmented. What you see in the bottle is what you get on your lips. If not even darker than that amazing and you can really build up the color to be really dark if you do a ton of layers and it's gonna stay all day long so that's great really been loving it love to take it to work and stuff because simple eye just lips perfect um next up it is this fantasy markers again markers makers by wet and wild and this one it is in black it's a black lipstick it's what i'm wearing right now um, I love it. I've been addicted to this lipstick and I also, all the other lipsticks that I have, I put some of this first and then the lipstick just to have it even darker and I've really been liking it. Um, I know black seems like black on your lips but yeah I really really like it so I know it's probably kind of weird to some people but I mean... It's just a makeup, you know, we can play with it. You can play. And Don't next worry. up it is the lipstick by MAC. And this is called Heroin. It is just a purple lipstick, baby. Well, not really purple. It's more like a... Uh, it is so purple, but it has a little bit of pink into it. It is dark, and I really like it. Like that. Yep, really, really nice. I love it. Um, next one is one that I've actually just bought about two or three weeks ago. And it is called Icon. And it is amazing. It was one of the latest collections from MAC. 
I don't know what it's called, but I do know this is in their permanent line. So you don't have to get it with the collection. Um, yeah, Icon, and it's kind of a gray color. It's kind of, It looks gray on me. I don't know. Maybe I'm colorblind, but it looks gray on me. And I love it. I love it. I was wearing it in my latest video with the, um, again, I forgot the name. My Visible Lift review. This is what I'm wearing. Icon. Amazing. I really, really like it. Um, like I said, I think it looks great, but I might be getting it wrong. But that's what it looks like on my lips. So, yeah. And then, last but not least, I have my hand food. I used to be such a fan of this thing about a year ago. It would never leave my purse. I loved it. And then... I kind of forgot about it a little bit. It was still living in my purse, but I kind of forgot about it. And recently, I was busting my out the other day. And it smelled kind of funky, so I thought, okay, yeah, no. So I tossed it, and I went out and bought another one. And, oh my god, I missed you so much. It was amazing. It was great. I love how it doesn't leave my hands greasy at all. So this is a forgotten product, but I repurchased it, and... Now I remember why I was addicted to this thing. It was, it's great. It, I love it. So, yeah, you guys. That is my um, my favorites this month. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.